Hey everyone, Nick here, reviewing Moderna. Um, my last video, I think it was the last one, it was pretty popular, may have gotten 2,000 views. Uh, you know, in, in my terms, that's pretty popular. Anyway, uh, this is not my gig, I do this as a favor. So <laughs> I said a few things, I drew a few things that were perfect. Um, by that, I mean the price action happened exactly as it is. So. It was somewhere around here, I think. Uh, they were battling over to 66, if I remember correctly, and I said it needs to hold lower highs, <clears throat> trying to hold the floor, and I drew the two scenarios that could happen if the bulls prevail by holding the floor or if the bears win and where do they go. And I said if it does get a bounce, it will fail around 70. You can go watch the video, and that's almost literally what I said. It will fail around 70, and here it is kind of failing and failed around 70 so but the point is not to boast is to, to tell you that the method that we apply when you draw lines that makes sense they do help guide somebody so i couldn't tell you if it was going to go up or down but i could but i did tell you exactly what would happen if one line gets crossed so if i'm long and i see the line i saw get crossed then i know my potential downside and if i'm okay with it i just ignore it if i'm not i'll get out i'll stop myself out so let's put my lines on and um where is it there we go i had eye surgery yesterday so <laughs> working with uh, weird weird vision so this was the point the these two lines i drew I said, I don't know what's going to happen. So they, they, they bounced and they tried to come out and then, you know, the whole market went to crap. So it's nothing against itself. But look how it unfolded. You know, they tried to unfold the top and they failed at the first kink I did. And then uh, they decided that they wanted to go down and look where they bounced. I did not draw this after the fact. Here's a snapshot from my video. I just took this literally five minutes, five, two minutes ago. The lines were there. I did not draw them after the fact. You can go watch the video and then um, you can attest to that. So, and now um, the, the range is kind of set, right? Where they bounced hard, I expected that bounce. And where they failed, I also expected that fail. I said 70. That doesn't mean they're going to fail there forever. So what do we have now? So now we have a debate. Um, if you're bullish the stock, then I would, you know, if you're bullish the stock on a trade, I would buy the breakout from here. Uh, I would want to see the, the breakout come to fruition. If you look at it, it's like an inverse head and shoulders. How high it could go? About this much. So you could recapture this area. You know, these are tough sales. Um, don't worry about what they say about double tops and triple tops. Just play it one level to, to the other. So the bullish side is if you break away from this area, this last fail, that candle is pretty important. Um, September... 17th sorry so the upside is kind of like the white line only a little bit more maybe but, but what happens if it comes back down and uh, you know if you, if you love the stock you might want to plug your ears uh, for this next bit if you lose this this hard bounce which there shouldn't be a loss without a bad headline like um you know their vaccine failed or something or their therapy failed whatever they're working on you know the fundamentals then the downside is horrendous there'll be stops along the way like this is a an area where they will stop so 46 48 would be a good um, they'll try to hold let's say 50 to 45 they'll try to hold but if not they might revert to 35. i know i'm going to get somebody cussing me out irresponsible f, f uh, you're 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 saying it's going to 35. is that what you heard no i first ad addressed the upside potential um, I addressed the hard bounce, which was foreseeable. So nothing is unusual so far. I'm saying the next trade is if I'm if I want to get long the stock, it's better to be long closer to where they just bounced, like if uh, around here. Like if 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 we get lucky, if if the bulls get lucky and it falls to here, then I would take a long for the swing, or I'll wait for the breakout confirmation of it and then chase it. Or if I'm a bear. I don't want to short it unless I'm trying to short this bit. And then I want to short it if it fails below this one because I think it'll go lower. So I don't know what the stock will do. I, I can't imagine they have any sales. So sorry, the um, chat room is open. Um, 
okay so they don't have any sales it's 400 years of sales <laughs> into their 20 26 billion in uh, market cap and 6 million in revenues for last year but this is the thing this is a, a bet about the future so it's it's silly to look at the fundamentals and say it's too expensive what relative to what <laughs> they don't do anything right now it's all based on the future so expensive or not it's a bet and it's a binary bet the way i hear it and as far as it being too expensive against itself it's not not yet um, like if you follow the rsis and all of that i don't trade the rsis but i watch them because other people do it's not grossly expensive it's just trying to attack a level where it failed before so if it fails a little bit here and then it rallies and then it breaks through that'll be good so if you're a fibonacci person and um and you like to talk jargon fibonacci jargon so it can come back down to here and that will be the 50 percent of this little stint right here so basically i i can eyeball it if you go back down to like halfway to the rally you just took it's totally okay because that's how you build um you 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 transfer the ownership from weak weaker hands weaker hands are people who just had profits and then when it dips a little bit those who missed it would say hey i want some of this and then the other people would book profits and then the new people will come in will have better conviction so that's why you get these bursts or abcs whatever so here we go is it this burst that's going to happen a b kind of abc this way or is it this gigantic abc that way or is it inverse head and shoulders this way or head and shoulders that way either way you slice it either terminology it's all around a pivot zone right one pivot zone must hold still must hold two pivot zone resistance break either of those two they're going to go in that direction how about this for a summary holy shit, that was good okay um next signing out